In the vast realm of classic literature, there exists a character who has captivated readers for generations with his enigmatic nature and undeniable charm. Allow me to introduce you to Edward Rochester, the complex protagonist of Charlotte Bronte's timeless masterpiece, Jane Eyre. So in this character profile, I'm going to delve deep into the intriguing depths of Rochester's personality, exploring both his admirable traits and compelling flaws. Buckle up for an exhilarating journey through the corridors of Thornfield Hall. Edward Rochester possesses an irresistible magnetism that draw, draws people towards him like moths to a flame. With a commanding presence and a voice that echoes through the halls, he effortlessly captures attention. Rochester's strong and confident demeanor has led many to succumb to his captivating allure. Rochester's charismatic nature is his most prominent trait. His quick wit, sharp intellect, and ability to hold engaging conversations make him an intriguing character. Whether he is entertaining guests at Thornfield's Hall or indulging in verbal sparring with Jen Eyre, his charm leaves a lasting impression on everyone he encounters. Beneath Rochester's rugged exteriors lie, uh, exterior lies a keen intellect that sets him apart from the ordinary. He possesses a deep understanding of human nature, coupled with a vast wealth of knowledge acquired through extensive travels. His inter intellectual power makes him a fascinating conversation a conversationalist and an intriguing companion rochester's romantic spirit is unconventional fueling his desires for a passionate and profound connection he values true love over societal expectations seeking an equal partner rather than a mere companion this desire for emotional authenticity and intense connection sets him apart from the typical romantic hero. Behind the mesmerizing facade, though, Rochester harbors deep-seated flaws that make him all the more human and relatable. These imperfections shape the trajectory of his character arc and test the limits of his relationships. Rochester's stubbornness often leads him astray. His impulsive decisions, driven by an unyielding will, tend to disregard the consequences. This recklessness comes to the fore in his ill-fated marriage to Bartha Mason, a decision that haunts him and significantly impacts the lives of those around him. Beneath his confident exterior, Rochester had a deep well of vulnerability. This emotion, emotional guardedness born out of past heartbreaks prevents him from fully trusting others and often leads to misunderstandings. Rochester's inability to confront his own emotions jeopardizes his relationships and hinders his personal growth. Rochester's morality is tangled in shades of grey, making him a morally ambiguous character. His actions, while driven by love, sometimes cross the line into manipulation and deception. This moral ambiguity forces readers to question the boundaries of right and wrong, further adding depth to Rochester's character. Edward Rochester's character arc is one of redemption and self-discovery. Through the course of the novel, he confronts his flaws, finds solace in love, and learns the value of humility. Rochester's relationship with Jane Eyre serves as a catalyst for his redemption. The love they share challenges him to confront his flaws and seek forgiveness. Through Jen's unwavering devotion, 
Rochester learns the power of humility and the necessity of true repentance. As the layers of his complex personal are unraveled, Rochester embarks on a journey of self-reflection. He acknowledges his past mistakes, taking responsibility for the consequences of his actions. This growth leads him to seek a redemption and rebuild his life on a foundation of honesty and humility. So in conclusion, Edward Rochester, the beguiling and flawed protagonist of Jane Eyre, remains a beloved literary figure. Admired for his complexity and enduring journey towards redemption. Bronte's creation showcases the delicate interplay between good traits and human flaws, resonating with readers through the ages. As we bid adieu to Thornfield Hall and its enigmatic owner, let us remember that even the most captivating characters can teach us invaluable lessons about life, love, and the complexities of the human soul. And that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and let me know in the comments down below what you think about Edward Rochester and uh, Jane Eyre book by Charlotte Bronte. If you want to have a review of this book, then I have a review of this book in my channel. If you're interested, please do, do check it out. And if you have any requests, uh, uh, book-related requests, then also let me know in the comments down below. I will love to have new ideas. And um, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel because it's always great to have new book lovers here. And to my returning subscribers, you are the best. I, I really am really grateful for you. And uh, that's it for today. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.